Welcome back to One Shot. This time I'm going to start the episode before I actually get into the game, just in case I have another one of those special conversations with Nico. Ah, oh, here's another one. That looks like... well, that's not Nico. Looks like a woman, maybe his mother. <laughs> Marshall? I had another dream. Mama was there. She gave me pancakes. I think it was my birthday. People always get their favorite food on their birthday. <laughs> Lots of it, too. Do you have a birthday, too? What would happen if I said no? How can you not have a birthday? I am immortal. No, of course I do. What's your favorite food? Is it pancakes? Do you like pancakes? You know what? I actually don't like pancakes. Very rarely I get a craving for them, but anytime I eat them I end up just feeling kind of bloated. And I feel like you have to just drench them in so much stuff to make them edible because they just don't really taste good on their own. And... I'm not saying that just having had, like, really poor pancakes. Like, I've made, com like, fairly complex kind of pancakes. I've made pancakes that have, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, buttermilk? So I've had buttermilk pancakes. I've had pancakes that, instead of using, like, baking soda or baking powder, I've had pancakes that use yeast. So kind of like a bread, where you leave it for a while and it gets all frothy, and that, of course, develops some flavor. But even those just don't taste good to me. So, no. Actually, ah, well, they're tasty. No, they're not. Say that one more time and I'll smite you. I'm your god. Bow down to me. Maybe you should give them a chance, you know? I've given them many chances. They always disappoint. Sorry. My mama makes the best pancakes. Some of the neighbors make really good noodles. And some of the neighbors make a lot of bread. Well, I like noodles and bread. Do you have any neighbors? Of course. Oh, do they share their food with you? Nope. That's not very nice of them. <laughs> what do you expect? This is America. I don't even know who my neighbors are. We never see each other, we never talk to each other. Our neighbors and my mama take turns making food for the whole village each day. Everyone takes turns doing chores and watching the children, too. I don't need to be watched anymore, though. I'm old enough to help out. I miss everyone. I wonder if they're worried about me. Speaking of helping out, we should probably go now. Okay, so now that I've given the light, the sun, to the vine woman, that's freed up my hands to go do some ram herding. Which is where... Where was that? I think it's one more level to the left, I want to say. Or is it... No, wait, I have to go up, don't I? Is it here? No, this is back to the beginning. Uh... Erm... Um, wait a minute, there's fast travel. Yes! Oh, but which one is it? Uh, I don't know. Village? Oh yeah, here we go. I want to go back to the demon ram. Still demonic? Yep. Oh, I see you don't have that big, luggy light bulb around. Would you like to help me herd rams? There's a nice reward for you, I promise. Sure. Excellent. To the south is a peninsula inhabited by my rams. They're all standing in unfortunate spots. You need to move them onto the darker moss. If you get stuck, ring a bell and they'll all return to their original positions. Good luck. Wait, if you can control their movement with a bell, why don't you just, like, make a bell that makes them get to the proper place? 
I mean, I don't mean to use logic here, but I'm just saying. Wait, so is it just these rams right here? Oh no, they're down here. Okay. Five rams, five places. And obviously the fact that I can reset them means that I can get into a position where they're not in the right spot and I can't undo it, unless I reset everything. There's gotta be a name for these sorts of puzzles. I think I've maybe already failed. <laughs> uh, in fact, I'm almost certain I've failed. Yeah, I failed. I could logically think this out, or I could just try random crap. I like random crap. Let's do random crap. I can't move you yet. Well, I could move you down. I guess you kind of have to go down here, don't you? Because I can't actually get to you from a different position to push you anywhere else. Yeah, I guess you have to go there. It's these buggers, though. What do I do with you? Alright, I'm going to think this one out and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I roughly have this figured out. So I think I move you there. Get you out of the way. Get you out of the way, so now I can freely go around you. Then I think I push you down. And... And... Yeah, okay, this is gonna work. Then I push you back. And then, push you there. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you provided a great service to all Ramkind. <laughs> In return, take this fine Ram wool. Oh, uh, thanks. I needed more Ram. I was running out of memory. Okay, I have Weird Journal, Miracle Water, Feather, Wool... Okay, alright, so the Feather is going to be used for writing my name, although I don't have any ink. The Wool... It's kind of useless. I think that's my hint that I should trade it. So where was that trader? There's a trader... Oh, right here. Have any items for trade? Why, yes. I think I have something I'd like to trade. What can this wool get me? That'll get you. This fine vial of ink. Ooh! Perfect! Nah, I don't want it. Of course I'll take it. Thanks for doing business. Alright, let's go to the... South Ruins? Is this the place? Yeah. Okay, so let's take the ink bottle and combine it with the feather. The feather's tip seems fine enough to use as a writing instrument. Grab the pen and there we go. I have a pen. Good. Please write your name here. Good luck. I can't continue without the sun. Oh, right. I guess I should go get it back. How did I get there? I don't think I can fast travel there. Where was I? I know it was in here, I just don't remember where exactly. Nope. 
Oh yeah, this is it. I guess she might be dead by now. The, the light's gone out. Marshall, do you know what happened? No. Y really? But... What am I going to do? It lit up again. Oh. There's also a kernel of corn on the ground here. She must have left it behind. So I power it. Does that mean if I want to bring light to this land, I'm going to have to stay? Like, permanently stay in the lighthouse, the spire? Hmm. Okay, well, I think I can go plant the kernel. Because I have the miracle grow water. So we can get some fertilizer action going. Think of all the great things you can do with corn. You can make high fructose corn syrup. You can make biofuel. Whoops. Wait a minute, what did that say? It's a seed apparently left behind by Maze. Her name was Maze? And she left behind a corn seed. What do you know? Can I plant it? Do I have to give it to him? Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's go into the thing. What in the world? I can't leave. At least I can't leave the same way I came in. If I touch that corruption, I'm gone. Hey, Marshall? There were a lot of names on that scroll back there. I wonder who all these those people were. It looked really old. People that came in and never came out. Uh-oh. Whoa. There's a city? Inside of this building? Hello? Wait. Before you pass, you must allow me to examine your inventory. Uh, okay. Hmm. Interesting book you have here. Well, nothing illegal, but... Oh, you have the seed. It is the duty of the light bearer to regrow the race of plants. Do you understand the procedure? Mm, no. Take the seed to the plot north of the tower. Bury it in the soil there. I hope she grows this time. The other seeds were all planted before the sun was extinguished. Other seeds? Oh, is this the spire? I didn't realize I was so close to the spire. I think this is the spire. 
I was leaving the bed there. Alright, I need to plant this north of the tower. Up here, maybe? Oh yeah, there it is. That person said to bury the seed here. It's hard to imagine that it will grow into a person. Wait, what? Who said it's gonna grow into a person? Did I miss something? I just want to be safe and pour this on it. I guess when it said it makes it grow faster, it didn't mean instant. Fair enough. Okay, what's around here? This does not look safe. Hi. Hello. Can I get you anything? No, thank you. Where is everybody? You saw the floating squares outside. That's... Uh, there's not many people left around on the skywalks. The surface is still rather busy, but it's not easy to get there and back. I see. off. Phosphor. Blue's fo Blue phosphor comes in both mineral and organic forms. It's found on the surface of the barrens and inside seed shrimp. Green phosphor is primarily organic. It's most commonly found inside of moss and certain insects of the glen. Red phosphor is primarily liquid and flows in the streets of the refuge. There is no known organic source of red phosphor. Prophecy will be fulfilled, the Messiah will come. I may not live long enough to greet the Messiah myself, but the robot will take care of that for me. Here's to hoping it doesn't malfunction before the time comes. The cycle shall begin anew. There are six. Which face did you get? Hmm? You have a die for a face. Hi. Hi. I'm looking for a way into the spire. Oh. Dunno. It'll probably be in one of my books. I really don't feel like looking, though. I'm so bored. Please find me some new book that could entertain me. You want to try to read my weird journal? Oh, it's written in, in an ancient language. How interesting. I must translate this. I'll help you when I'm done. I think I'm hungry. There's a cafe. 
southeast. Go. Oh, I know exactly where to go. Excuse me. I'd like to eat something, but I don't have any money. Well, you're in luck. There's always a special for the light bearer at the low price of free. What can I get you? Do you do you have pancakes? I do. Pancakes. Take a seat and I'll fry some up for you. These pancakes are so good. And I'm really hungry. Thank you very much. But they aren't as good as Mama's. Sorry, mister. Mama always put the nuts we picked in the pancake goop. She always made them when I was feeling sad. Or lonely. Aww. He's crying. Mama. I really miss my mama. Hey, it's okay. I'm sure you'll see her again after you replace the sun. Want some more pancakes? I'm okay, thank you. I'm not holding out much hope for Nico actually being able to go home. I think he's gonna have to stay with the light. Done. Check it out. There is an entity few know about in this world. It has a habit of silencing those aware of it. I am one of the few still alive. This being is somehow connected to the world. Perhaps it is the spirit of the world. Just as a light within our world fluctuates, so does the temperament of this being. As the light is now fading, the entity is now seeking death. Death not to itself, but to our entire world. We must, of course, stop it. When our God and our Savior arrive, the entity will attempt to man manipulate them into shattering the light bulb at the top of the spire. Our God is the only thing this entity can communicate with. It is through them that the Savior will be tricked. Entity, aka the program, is going to try to trick the god, aka me? Shattering the light bulb will return the savior to their homeworld, leaving ours to crumble. Okay, now I think you're trying to trick me already. leaving ours to crumble. But as far as we know, this is the only way for the Savior to return home. Now see, is this a trick already? But then again, if it is a trick, if the very document that told me the entity is going to try to trick me, 
is also telling a trick, then why would it tell me that it's trying to trick me? Why wouldn't it just try to trick me without telling me that it's trying to trick me? Does that make any sense? It's kind of confusing, but yeah, that wouldn't make any sense. The only reasonable assumption is that what I'm reading right now is not attempting to trick me. Right? Hmm. What do we do in a situation like this? Tell the truth? Causing the savior to leave? Lie? Only to have the entity reveal the truth? We can only hope they will have enough respect for the world they've seen when standing at the top of the spire and judging our fates. I don't want to end this world. Is that what will happen if I leave? Crazy. It's all crazy. To enter the tower is to leave at the start. Found that in the book. Last thing. A die. Hmm? It's a gift? Wait, what? I feel like I've missed part of the conversation. What's... huh? Go? Death sounds so boring. Don't let it happen. Uh, okay, I'll try. Bye. Oh, hi. Well, you would have realized it sooner or later. I've had enough of this world, haven't you? Either that light bulb will be destroyed, or Nico will be killed. I'll make sure you never reach the end. Quit now and save yourself the effort. What's going on? I feel something moving in my pocket. Oh, I got given a die? And it's buzzing? What do I do with it? At the moment, apparently nothing. Wait, I can't combine a die and a light bulb? Why not? It makes so much sense. Hmm. Wait a minute. Okay, the die icon in the bottom right. This is a maze. I think I think the die icon is telling me where to go, based on the buzzing. No, 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 go back. Yeah, it's... when I go this way, it starts to pulse. And the other ways, it does not. I think it's telling me to go this way. The die went quiet. Now I'm on my own. Oh my god. I have no idea where I am. For all I know, I'm constantly looping around and I can't even tell. There's no defining features about these places. They all look exactly the same. Do I have another item that could tell me the way? Oh, the feather! Did it, hold on, did that say it's buzzing? The feather's buzzing. Wait, it's telling me to go back the way I came. Oh, that's weird. Hmm. 
Another coin. No way. This is back where I started. Now is no time to be watching TV. Yeah, I suppose not. There's no ashes. It's full of things. I don't need any of it. It's not as foggy this time. I can see all the buildings. Ad finitum. It's the same thing that was there before. What about the plant? That's a plant. Oh, it's locked. It won't turn on. I guess I have to go to sleep? To enter the tower is to leave at the start. This bed is where I started in this world. Maybe it will be where I leave, too. The heck is this? Oh. There's no buttons. I guess there's only one floor. You're still planning on saving the world, aren't you? The world is suffering. If Nico smashes the bulb and leaves, it will be just like waking up from a bad dream. Nico will be miserable in this world. You do still care about Nico, don't you? So this is where the sun belongs. The journal said that the only way for me to go home was to shatter the light bulb here. But then... Oops, I skipped it. it said something like everybody would die. I can't decide. Marshall, what should I do? What's the right thing to do? Well, according to what the journal said, it's trying... The entity... The program is trying to trick me. So my natural inclination is to do the opposite of what the entity wants me to do, and it wants me to shatter the bulb. I didn't mean to press that, but that is actually the option that I wanted to press, so thank god. I accidentally pressed space. What I was gonna say is, it wants me to smash the bulb, which means I want to do the opposite. But maybe the thing telling me that it's a trick is a trick and it's like a double trick, you know? I don't know. I have no way to know. So I'm going to go with what I've been told, which is that the entity is trying to trick me. So let's save the world. I can't just leave everyone here to die. Thank you for your help, Marshall. I promise I'll be okay. Let there be light. Is 
Is it going to bring the world back to life, though? People were saying it wouldn't really matter. Is it just a, a brief flash in the night before the world dies out? Or is it actually going to bring everything back? Oh, look at it grow! It's so cute! I wonder if anything special happens at the end, because this would be the sort of game that would have that. Hmm? No, seems like that's it. Or is it? The menu's... the menu's different now. Everything's bright. What if I start again? Yeah, this is different. Before it started at nighttime, now it's bright. But... There's no one there. Yeah, I, I can't do anything. Well, light has returned. There it is, streaming in through the windows. But Nico isn't there. I don't think he ever got to go back home. Hmm. Alright, so, uh, yeah, quick summary. That was a really interesting game. I really like what it what it does playing with the breaking the the fourth wall and talking directly to the player. And having the program talk to the player as well. I mean, it casts you in the role of literally a god. You are a god to Nico. And to the world. And there's this strange other entity which appears to be the game itself. Talking to you through weird pop-ups and dialogue boxes and stuff like that. It's just an interesting... An interesting kind of storytelling device to use that I don't think I've seen done before. It's really interesting. I think there's a lot you could do with that. And, um... Aside from that, I mean, there's a lot of other things about this game that are really cool. The soundtrack is really great. It's actually got a pretty extensive... extensive soundtrack that you can actually listen to on, what is it, um... Bandcamp, I think? I think it's on Bandcamp or something like that. One of those websites that allows you to, you know, put up whole albums and stuff, and it has a whole original soundtrack to this whole game, and there's a bunch of songs, which is really cool. In fact, I should I should have a link to that in the description. Yeah, I'll, I'll stick a link to the soundtrack in the description. And the art is really quite good. Especially those kind of, uh, I guess you could call them cutscenes? Yeah, they're basically cutscenes. The cutscenes when you do something special and it kind of goes from the more zoomed out art to kind of like full featured art or whatever you want to call it. Those look especially good. Some really nice art. It's just an interesting little story told in a way that I've never seen told before. Really, the only thing I didn't like it is, uh, the only thing I didn't like about it is just the rather clunky controls, which are pretty much a byproduct and seem to come with any kind of RPG maker made game. I don't think I've ever played an RPG Maker game that didn't feel like it had clunky controls. So it seems to just kind of come with the territory. So that was a little bit annoying, but not a big deal. There's not too many items to gather up, and not too many things to combine, and it doesn't make use of the RPG Maker kind of combat system, so... In the end, you don't really spend all that much time actually interacting with the menus. So, not a big deal. Just a minor annoyance. Yeah, that was quite good. Alright, well, I hope you enjoyed joining me for One Shot. And, thank you for watching.